Here at Yahoo Finance, we've discussed how generative AI could change everything from drug discovery to customer service. What about trash? Jeffrey's analysts have been examining how the emerging technology could affect different industries going forward, including the business of waste management. Let's bring in one of the authors behind the recent note that looks at the possibilities here. Stephanie Moore is an equity analyst at Jeffrey's. Stephanie, thanks for being here. Um, and I guess, you know, right now we kind of have to think about this, right? How it could affect really a huge swath of different businesses. Um, you're looking at the business of waste management. One of the most intriguing things I thought of, uh, that you guys look at is how you figure out which, which trash goes where. How can AI help with that? No, absolutely. And, and, and um, good morning. You know, I think, you know, making predictions about the impact of AI, I mean, it's almost like going back to 1995 and, and Katie Couric making predictions about how the, the Internet will impact the world. But I think, you know, the message I'd like to just convey is that the ultimate consequence of AI, I can promise, is something that isn't even on our radars right now. But the sectors and the companies that are early to leverage AI with their existing operations and think outside their current scope of work those will be the ones that will come out with a product or a revenue stream or a margin profile that no Excel file on Wall Street is even contemplating right now. I mean, except for one maybe generated by chat GDT. So when you take that a step forward and you think about the impact of the waste space, I mean, right now, these companies, they're already using AI and partnering it with video telematics and they're able to scan through trash efficiently and distinguish, hey, that's a Starbucks cup, you know, that can be recycled. I mean, right now, this is increasing throughput, it's resulting in a clear, a cleaner and higher valued product. But really taking it to the next step, it's beyond just recycling. AI can find a use for your trash that you didn't even know existed. I mean, and that's the point. AI takes away all these preconceived ideas. How do you find a use for something that everyone else thinks is waste? And that's kind of the point and the ability to leverage that and say, hey, you know, maybe this uh, this apricot peel or maybe this, you know, these crayons that we're throwing out, these can be used elsewhere. And even in terms of sort of tracking where some of this waste ends up when it does end up in landfills, you have certain countries taking on more of other countries waste than others. Perhaps more corporate responsibility could also be highlighted in, in where some of these products end up. No, and I think that's a very good point. I mean, effectively, you know, you have this instance where, you know, disposing of people's waste is one profit stream, but indexing that waste and creating a data repository, that's taking this to the whole next level. So that's where not only can you identify who's generating the waste, and that's one potential profit stream, but even taking that a step further and just thinking about that, knowing what is being thrown away, when it's being thrown away, by which zip code, which day of the week, the data that comes behind that is, is, is significant. I mean, and think about what can be used, that can be used to predict, predict demand, predict shortages. And so now, from this point going forward, where is, where is the timeline kind of net out? What, what can we expect in terms of when this will actually be a reality? No, it, it's a good question. And I think, you know, like I said, you know, right now, you know, AI, it isn't new. And these companies, the larger waste management companies, they're already leveraging it to their advantage. They're making these investments, um, you know, and you're seeing that particularly as they sort waste, and they're either going landfill to a recycling facility, um, taking it to the next step. And that's kind of, that's the, the unknown and that's the excitement part that isn't reflected in models, it isn't being reflected in these stocks right now, is what they can do with this waste ultimately. And that's probably the next step. And quite frankly, you know, it's, it's coming and, it, and it's likely coming pretty quickly. Um, and, you know, because you know, it's only really the next step or the next iteration of what's already being done. Um, you know, the, da the data opportunity, you know, that's probably, you know, a bit longer out on a horizon standpoint. But quite frankly, as we know, you know the, creating content at this point and having data and the ability to effectively harvest that data, you know, it doesn't take long for that all of a sudden to be able to be, you know, properly unit utilized and more importantly, monetized. Stephanie, um, 
which companies are starting to do this? I mean, it's not a huge industry, the waste management industry, in terms of publicly traded companies. We were showing some of them up on the screen. Um, do you feel like this is something that is going to help the industry overall, or do you think that some of the players are poised to win more than others? I think it's going to help the industry overall. You know, quite frankly, you do have, you know, the benefit of the waste is to your point, it's not a very large industry right now, but it has consolidated and it has consolidated over the years. And quite frankly, it's becoming more difficult for the smaller players to compete. And this is even before AI, it's just become more challenging. So you have the waste management, the Republic, the waste connections, the GFLs of the world that are getting bigger and with their scale, their access to the capital market, um, their pretty substantial free cash flow generation, their ability to invest and, and you know, use CapEx, that, you know, they could make, they're the ones that will be able to make this change and really benefit. Stephanie Moore, Jeff, Jeffrey's equity Stephanie. analyst. Th thank you so much. We, we actually have to leave things there on the day, but we certainly do appreciate you taking the time here with us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Absolutely.